Yeah, what's going on guys? That's crazy ass Apollo. Uh, I was just today gonna go over and do a quick little review on Wilder Tactical, Battle Belt, Duty Belt, Patrol Belt, Shooting Belt, whatever you wanna call it, LARPing Belt. Uh, before I get into that, if you guys are looking to get some of Wilder Tactical's gear, if you use promo code OhioBassin, on their website it gives you 10 percent off there is a link down in the description or you can scan the qr code up here that'll take you to my website and then there's a link to their website all right i have two belts by them uh we'll go over this one first this is the first one i have and i wear it uh 40 hours a week and I have no complaints about it, whatever. So the belt is the Wilder Tactical 1.75 inch uh, Cobra. This does not have the uh, integrated D-ring. I don't need it, so I'm not fast roping out of helicopters and stuff yet. But that's the belt that I have. And then I also have the belt pad. And like I said, I have no complaints over this belt and belt pad. The biggest thing for me was not having to wear belt keepers. So this belt goes on and off super easy. So when you have too much Chipotle, things happen. But you just... Buckle it, unbuckle it. Don't gotta worry about messing with belt keepers, losing belt keepers, whatever. And a lot of people will think, well, oh, if you don't have belt keepers, you know, it won't, the belt won't stay in place. I've been wearing this belt for probably two months now, and I have had no issues with the belt moving because on the inside of the belt pad, it has this rubber sticky material and it has not moved at all. I have no complaints and I am very confident in it. Um, as far as the holster, I'm not affiliated with Dara, but this is a Dara holster. I have four or five of their holsters, no complaints. I really like them. You guys should check them out. Uh, this mounting system here is the ALQD. So it's that simple. Uh, if you want to swap out holsters from one belt to the next or whatever, you can do it just that easy. Uh, this here is a SIG 226 with a Surefire X300. Um, and then I will go over here to this side. So on the belt, I have this uh, little carabiner clip, whether you will use it for keys, gloves, whatever you want. Um, it's super nice as well. And then underneath that, there is a metal piece that comes with these belts. So you can run the excess belt material through that and the belt will not loosen on its own over time of just wearing it. It keeps it right in place, no issues. And then going over to the magazine pouches, these are the standard pistol mag pouches and these pouches here are held on to the belt with the safari land clip which these are very convenient because they come with a piece on the inside here that you can move up and down or adjust the cant with this piece here and depending on your belt size so if you have a inch and a half belt 175 two i think these go up to two and a quarter you can just adjust that piece and it'll give you the extra room or take away some space so that way it'll work on your belt with minimal movement but like i said this is the belt that i use uh 40 hours a week it's very comfortable have no complaints over it i don't have anything on the back just because sitting i don't want to deal with that all right 
All right, guys, and the other thing too, uh, I don't have it here with me, but is my outer vest plate carrier. And I will put a picture of that right up here so you guys can see that I also have water tacticals stuff mounted on my vest so that way I can keep it off my back. And those pouches are attached by a Blade Tech Molly clip which you can get from Wilder Tactical or you can get them on Amazon online. You can get two of them for like 15 bucks. Um, but that is an option when you order these pouches, you can just select the Molly attachment option. All right, on to the next one. Second belt, this is just for shooting. Hi Apollo. Hi buddy. This one here is just for shooting out on the range, having fun. It's the exact same belt, exact same belt pad, just a different color. So this belt is Ranger Green with a Coyote Tan belt pad. Same holster setup. This is just for a Glock 34 optic cut with a Surefire X300 level two by Dara holsters check them out and the only real difference on this belt is I have the tourniquet up front and then on the back I have a dump pouch from water tactical if you need it for water extra ammo mags whatever and then I have the two pistol mag pouches and the rifle mag pouch now the difference between these pouches and the pouches on the other belt that I showed you is these ones are attached with their standard UAB clip. So it's just a standard clip and there is a adjustment there if your belt's like an inch and a half or 1.75, it'll work with either one. But I've had no issues with these either, not coming off, um, they stay in place and i have no complaints i think they make great stuff um it's pretty cool that they brought me on so to speak gave me a promo code to give to my viewers so overall if you're looking for a battle belt larping belt uh shooting belt or just a everyday carry belt without the belt pad they have tons of options, tons of color combos, camo patterns. Highly recommend them. Go check them out. Watertactical.com. Promo code Ohio Bassin. Get you 10% off. Link down in the description. Scan the QR code. That's all I got. What about you? What about you? Buddy. In Apollo. My body. <laughs>